definitely eye-opening and, and challenging at the same time. A step-by-step -step guide to getting my purpose to that next level. Helping us put our strategy together and being proactive as opposed to reactive. You can't help but come away feeling energised. We finally got ourselves a corporate sponsor. Yeah. Let's go! The Australian Productivity Commission did a report and one of the key findings was that the real deficiency in the charity and not-for-profit sector was leadership development of those running the charities. The whole concept is to invest in the leadership of the charities. In its simplest sense, the growth project is helping those that help. The Growth Project is a program that runs for 12 months. It's for charity leaders with their allocated business leaders. We have seven facilitated sessions that are delivered by the highest caliber speakers that we can get our hands on. My job really today is to put you out of your comfort zone and to have you stay there pretty much for the 12 months. I want you to introduce yourself, shake hands with the wrong hand and share. Why are you here? Our purpose is to make a much safer society for all of us to enjoy when we go out. Our mission statement for Feel the Magic is to brighten the lives of kids who have lost someone they love. That, that drives me. We take what hospitals no longer want and give it to those who desperately need it. Trying to give a voice to the elephant in the room, uh, which is mental health. Our mission is a small mission to create the next generation of generosity. This is what we need to do. This is the forefront of giving, I think, for our generation, because it's all about coming together and growing together and rising together, and I think that's probably the essence that spoke to me the most. So what's the role of the executive mentor? To buddy up with a charity leader. They're there to follow you for the year. They're there to support you for the year. They're there to become part of your network for the year. This was a great opportunity to feel good about what I do personally and see the impact of what I can do on others. We really needed someone to help us with strategy, to look outside the box, and he's such a big thinker. What better way to ensure the future success and financial well-being of the community than to actively participate in building it? As a result of the growth project, as a result of being with James and helping James, that something profound is happening. What has been great about the Growth Project sessions is seeing the penny drop, and not just instantaneously, but to see that transformed into commitment, action and implementation. The ultimate goal is peer-to-peer -peer learning and education, and is really all about the facilitation of allowing that to actually take place. I'm not saying some shouldn't make mistakes, but if I can help them avoid the big ones and let them learn from the smaller ones, then you know, that's sharing my experience. That's what society used to be built on. It's going to be pretty hard for him to get away uh, now because he's made me set some, uh, some massive goals for the organisation and myself. What we're seeing is very, very strong relationships forming within the group. The program's provided access to the other nine mentors in, in this first year, as well as the founders and other unstructured mentors. I'm getting a lot of insight and knowledge from Cathy and the Gidget Foundation, but also from everybody else in the room. I'm sure plenty of the business mentors thought they were here just to provide value to others. You speak to each of them now and they're taking immense value from their engagement. They're deeply involved because of what they're getting out of it. The Growth Project started out with the intention of helping charity leaders. But what has emerged is the shared experience back to the corporates. The best uh, moments from, from the program for me and as regards shared experiences was, was here in these offices. Uh, Sam brought me to a Batir uh, supporters evening uh, and I heard firsthand from one of the mothers uh, the impact that the programs had on her daughter. Batir came to my school when I was 16. So it was just by fate that they were there a month before my lowest point and it actually ended up changing what could have happened to me. What does each charity have at their core that they can wrap into a shared experience and take that to the world? Often charities and charity leaders will underestimate the significance of the value that they bring to the table. The other day we took a, one of our large um, partners out to RPA and they saw this most precious little baby that's born at 26 weeks, you know, in an incubator that they donated that was $50,000.
That is priceless. The charities need to find a way to monetize the experience that they've had and communicate it in a way that corporates or others want a piece of that experience and are prepared to part with dollars to allow the charity to do what they need to do. In the neonatal intensive care unit with my daughter, Chloe, my first daughter, that was when I met Kylie from Miracle Babies. Uh, and I just remember that incredible feeling of knowing that someone else knew what you were going through and had been there before. Day one, uh, Kylie gave me the Miracle Babies pack, which is like a fundraising pack, isn't it? Uh, and I opened it and in the inside sleeve is a little baby grow, which is about that big. And that was it, I was done. The benefit is that if we become more engaged, well then it's a more, more rewarding experience for us. As that becomes more known, people go, well, let me have a piece of that because it's providing me with inner food for my soul. I lost my brother, he was eight years old and um, he had double pneumonia when he died. By going to Camp Magic, that really helped me with my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions. Even though if they're gone, they're still with you. You can still think about them and you don't have to be sad. This is what, this is what, this is what it all comes down to. I love to be running Camp Magic, which is our three-day bereavement camp, four times a year. Start off in Sydney and hopefully do it in every major city. Currently we're small, but we're in a position, I think, where we can replicate and scale. We're going to go into schools and, through the curriculum, do hands-on volunteering. Sam and I got an audience with the Premier's Mental Health Advisor. Uh, we received very favourably. We've just had our 10-year anniversary ball. We did have a pledge on the night for a million dollars over the next five years. The idea that us working with this team, these charity leaders, these business leaders, to then influence their organisations. There's a lot of people in our ripple effect just from one cohort. Imagine the ripple effect 100 charities in five years. 